All right, this is going to be a quick video on how to map your controls in RetroPie and Emulation Station. Um, if you're using a fresh build of RetroPie, then as soon as you plug in your controller, it should come up with the configure input uh, message box. If not, you're going to need to use whatever you're using to get into your main menu, whether it's a keyboard or another joypad or, or whatever. Um, I have mine, this is using a keyboard right now that I brought up. So you just need to go to your main menu, go down to your configure input. Once you select that, it's going to ask, are you sure you want to configure input? Yes. Now I've got this controller set up into D input, so that way it's going to be detected as two game pads, so it's not in keyboard mode. And then what you're going to want to do once you get to here is you want to configure player two first, this side. And the reason being is because you want your hotkey to be last and you want it to be on player one side. So what you do, hold the button on player two side and it's going to give you your gamepad number two. These are all pretty simple. Your uh, D-pad is going to be your joystick. So we're going to go up, down, left, right. Now here, start and select. We're going to use start and select. So start, coin button is select. Then here's where it gets tricky. Your A, B, X, Y, L, and R. These are configured to a Super Nintendo gamepad. So you're going to go A, B, X, Y, L and R. These two buttons down here you can also configure to the L and R, the, uh, the uh, thumb triggers, the L and R2. So what you're going to do is A, then you go to B, X, Y, left shoulder, right shoulder, and then want to do left trigger and right trigger. So now all those are taken care of. The rest of these buttons Mouse right, seeing how we're in gamepad mode, these aren't going to be used, but you can map them to whatever buttons you need to as well. But for, for the remainder of this, we're just going to hold down a button that's already defined. And so what that'll do is that'll skip on to the next. So we're just going to keep on going until we get all the way to the end here. All right, then when you get down here to the hotkey, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to hold it down because you don't want to define a hotkey. And then what it's going to do is it's going to give you a screen saying, yep, you now you need a hotkey. But for now, just go ahead and hit no. All right, that's going to take you back out to your main menu. Then you want to configure input again because now you got to do the player one side. So this is your A button now. You want to configure input? Yes. Then you roll on over here to your player one side. Hold a button down on it so it's recognized. Gamepad 1. Then you go through the same options. You go up, down, left, right. Same thing here. Start. Select. And then your button mappings are the same. A, B, X, Y, L, R, L, and R. So, A, B, X, Y, left shoulder, right shoulder, left trigger, right trigger. And then we're going to do the same thing for now, just not assign your analogs. Now your hotkey. Select. And that is going to be it. Now you back out. All your controls are set. A selects. You jump to your games. B backs you out. And that's it. That's how you configure controls for a Raspberry Pi.